In Terminator 2, the kind of timeline is contaminated from Terminator 1. I called it. I called it. I knew this would happen. Listen, Mr. Dyson, but I was wondering if you could tell me. I mean, if you know. If you know where it came from. You know, I asked them that very same question once, and you know what they told me? Don't ask. Good morning, Mr. Dyson. How's it going? Okay. Insert key. Three, two, one, turn. Turn. I want a door like that. Me too. I want to be Miles Dyson. I mean... Awesome. Yep, the chip and the hand survived. I knew it would be left over from Terminator mm-hmm. One. I saw it. I was like, someone's gonna get that. Mm. So my my question would be: so let's say on the original Terminator timeline, was was the, were the robots created like in in an uncontaminated timeline, and then it loops back into a new timeline, oh, or is boy. it looping back into itself and like the new time it, the old ones destroyed? So yeah, time travel gets messy real quickly yeah. because without this technology to make the Terminators, how does the Terminators, how do the Terminators ever get made? Like they never do. And it's like it exists in a time loop. Right. But nobody ever invents them. Right. They've invented themselves. Right. Mm. So it's like, I think it's called like the time travel information paradox or something mm. where it's like, you have these loops of information that spontaneously exist. In, information in this case, meaning like the, the the nature of the chip and the hand. Like where, yeah. who, who, who invented this? Who came up with the engineering de- details? Like these just exist mm-hmm. and then they're used. Right, so Miles Dyson made the chip, but the chip was inspired by the old chip, which was also made by Miles Dyson. But how would he have made that without knowing what the answer is already? Right. So it's a... Uh... Yeah. So I, I guess what they're saying is that is what the rules in Terminator universe is that there was a war with the machines and the humans. And then, mm-hmm. then Terminator went back in time and they got the mm-hmm. chip. And so now they use that chip to recreate the, ro- the machine-human war. Mm-hmm. And my guess then is that it must be on an accelerated timeline. So, so at the beginning of the film, Sarah... Connor says it's like 2029, I think they said. So mm-hmm. maybe it happens in 2013. Just It just happens sooner because now the robots are on an accelerated timeline. Right, I think so. And I guess this could make sense if you have like multiple timelines and they're different ones. So the, the can, information is created in one timeline and then goes over to the other one. Right. But they're, they're not talking. Right. And if, mean, but if we insist that there's a single timeline and now we have a problem. Now we have but a problem. But if we allow for multiple timelines, then okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> We're saying, what are, we, what are we fighting for? There's mo- many timelines. And it's like a bunch of timelines where humans die, a bunch of timelines where humans win. It's like, well, we get one more timeline where humans uh, win. Gosh. <laughs> I guess as long as the timeline that we're in is the one that humans survive, then. That's true. So, sorry, everyone else's timeline. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. That's true. I, can't, I mean, I can't you can't do anything about them. That's right. You can't do anything about me, but you can save your own timeline. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess, gosh, if if I could send a time traveler back to other timelines to stop their robot wars, like, and that kind of fucked up, like, <laughs> like those robots aren't bothering me. Why I got to step on their problems? Like, why I got to step on their lives? Right. Hmm. Hmm. Mind your business. Time travel. 